The tab received a call from a reader on Thursday about a suspicious trucking incident occurring with the asbestos removal at the Newton North High School. The reader said that the truck drivers were leaving from the Newton North construction site, taking a left onto Walnut Street and a right onto Washington Street, where they removed the placards that indicated they were carrying a hazardous material. In disbelief, we went to investigate. As soon as we pulled up to the construction site, we saw a truck leaving the Newton North site. We pulled out into traffic and tailed the truck. Sure enough, it went left onto Walnut Street and right onto Washington Street, where it stopped. Scared that we would be caught trailing the vehicles, we pulled far enough ahead of the truck that the driver wouldn't see us. Unfortunately, we were too far away to catch what they did next. The truck driver exited the vehicle, pulled something off the passenger side of the truck, went around to the left side, the driver's side, and pulled something off there, too. Okay, this was suspicious, we thought. Now, the city had told the tab that they were disposing the material in New Hampshire, but instead of going to Route 128, the quickest way to New Hampshire, we were going into Boston. Well, maybe we were just taking 93 to New Hampshire. Once in Boston, we took 93 north like we were going to New Hampshire. Okay, so maybe we were following the rules. But five minutes into the drive, we pulled off on Route 1. This was not the way to New Hampshire. From Route 1, we went to a condominium development in Malden. Construction crews were hard at work building a 770 unit luxury condo development. Were they dumping it here, we asked? Unable to follow the trucking company inside, we spoke with the project manager. The project manager reported that the trucks were just being weighed at this site before they were going up north to Maine. But that does not explain why the placards were put on the trucks to begin with and why they were removed. The tab is still investigating further details of this case. For the full story, go to www.newtontab.com.